NC State. Uh, this is another very, very – not a friend of the program. Declined the invitation to come on the show. But I do think that Dave Doran is a really, really good football coach. Um, they get the mm-hmm. aforementioned Jordan Waters to transfer in. They get Grayson McCall, and they have their leading receiver, Kevin Concepcion. Um, sounds like a right-handed submarine reliever. Uh, that you'd be seeing Kevin Concepcion there. It's all going to come down to defense. And can Grayson McCall make the transition? Yeah. Uh, Grayson McCall, Jordan Waters, big, big pickups in the transfer portal. Mm. Um, Looks like they're going to do things maybe a little bit differently offensively. Brennan Armstrong ran a ton last year. I think he ended up as their leading rusher at quarterback. Uh, Talk about those yards per carry. Uh, Defense, think of a huge question mark. Doran's a defensive guy. I think he'll have them in position to succeed. They don't return much, but but some big names coming from the portal. Uh, some notable ones, Jihad Carter, safety from Ohio State, Chaz Wallace, D-line from Colorado, and Donovan Kaufman coming in play safety from Auburn. Uh, I just really like Dave Doran, kind of the same way I feel about Louisville. I, I love Dave Doran. Uh, have a lot of trust in him. Mm-hmm. And their schedule, again, not difficult. Uh I see a path to 10 wins here. So I'm going to put their ceiling at 10 and two in their floor at eight and four, but like North Carolina, they'll probably be closer to the floor than they will the ceiling. I know it's just a two game swing, but they're, they're far yeah. more likely to f- finish at their floor than their ceiling for me. Yeah. And, and I think when you look at what they can bring to the table, I mean, there are expectations in Raleigh and we were talking about this, like D- NC state's one of the better jobs in the country, right? Because the expectations are not necessarily let's make the playoff. It's Hey, let's sit comfortably above bowl eligibility each year. It's, it's a lot. I will liken the NC state job to the Kentucky football job. Uh, Gavin or, yeah. inter- hey. Oh, we're not supposed to say our name intern, but yeah, he's there. <laughs> he said that. Hey, and remember, uh, a few years ago, they kind of moved heaven and earth to keep Dave Doran from going to Tennessee. So they yeah, they love true. him there, and he's he's done great things. I think that just tells you what the program is. He's raised the floor. I mean, Vegas to have them at eight and a half for their over under shows that they've uh, how much he's raised their floor. You know, you talk about raising the floor. I mean. I wanted to kind of touch on this about Grayson McCall. I think Grayson McCall brings you a blend of athleticism. He's a pretty efficient passer too. And, you know, to Dr. Bob's point here, he goes, uh, water's transferring. You pairing him with a legitimate, you know, first or second team, first, second, third team running back that, you know, you're bringing over from Duke. I think it's going to open up this offense a little more than what they had. Uh, it was a disappointing year at the quarterback position. I think last year you had Brendan Armstrong, you had MJ Morris, um, it, you know, you, you move on those, those two guys. I, I'm excited for the challenge that Grayson McCall has taken upon because he's been one of the better quarterbacks at the group of five level. Now it's an opportunity for him to come in and say, Hey, I want to prove myself in a higher conference. And, um, look, I mean, NC state for me, that's the reason why they're a dark horse contender to get to Charlotte. So yeah, we'll kind of see me too. what happens. Um, true Seminole. Love this. Agree 100%. Circling the Tennessee game for them, going to tell us a lot about this team. I agree because Tennessee Tennessee's going to be pretty dang good. Um, yeah. So they play them in the Dukes Mayo Classic. Always a fun game. What then, what a sponsor. Two weeks later, they travel to Clemson. Uh, and then their next toughest game, man, is that November 23rd matchup at Georgia Tech. They do play Duke before then, but that's at home. They travel to the Flats. Uh, November 23rd to play Georgia Tech and then go to North Carolina. There, there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential. How does Grayson McCall handle the step up to the ACC, a step up in competition? Um, we'll really have to see. Have to see what Grayson two, McCall brings. Two things I want to hit on here. You know, they have that matchup um, against Tennessee, but they get the matchup against Western Carolina, which a lot of people think, okay, it doesn't really matter. That, that, to have a tune-up game before that is going to be huge for McCall to establish confidence. You're not going to be able to take a lot of things away, essentially from a schematic standpoint, but just building the rapport in a game-like atmosphere with game speed is going to be massive. And then Dr. Bob says this. He goes, I think Doran is a solid but not spectacular coach. Um, he can beat Carolina and get an upset over FSU or Clemson Raleigh, but not the guy to get them to 10 wins consistently. I, I would say this, and he goes, they always lay an egg under Doran there might be some frustration they haven't gotten to 10 wins consistently, but like is the onus on NC state to be a 10 win like team every single year. I I don't know. Like, I think if you're sitting between eight and nine wins uh, uh, down year seven, like 
you're going to be able to keep a job in Raleigh for a long time like Dave Dorn has. Yeah. Yeah. I, I so. like Dave Dorn a lot. I think he's he fits well there. He's done a lot of good things there. Uh, like I said, he's really raised the floor. Yeah. Agreed. NC State continuing to move on throughout the SEC. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, 